Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Fran Bo. We are actually with Dr. Dearn. I guess he's no longer a practicing doctor. He's been let go from the asylum. But he's taking us to a cemetery because he wants to confirm something. I hope we're not digging up our own body. This is your parents' resting place. And also yours. Well, why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, friend, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. Well, what do you mean by right, sir? I mean that, if we could find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. Well, I understand, sir, and for what did you need my help? To find clues and evidence. We need to open the coffins. All right, sir. I'll help. Maybe the deadly worms came already. Who... Mm, anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left, and you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes, right here. All right? Yes, Dr. Dearn. I'll see you soon. Wow. Responsible older man, isn't he? Just letting me split up in a graveyard at night. Great. I'm ten years old. Um, now, I did conclude last installment by saying it turns out we're not insane after all, and that we really can't see the spirits, but at the same time, if we dig up our own body, then maybe we really are dead and this is just some sort of flash vision before we ascend to heaven or something. I wonder what the lady has hidden between her hands. Is this a little bug? Haven't you rested enough already? Did the deadly worms, the deadly worms take you back to the soil? Are you coming up soon from under the ground like a zombie? Can I light the candles, I wonder? Martin Bo, Lucia Bo Dagenhart, Fran Bo Dagenhart. Oh, lovely little bear, you must take care of my parents. Mommy, this is very hard, knowing that you're not around anymore. A rose. Is this for the bad smell of the rotten bodies? Hello, Father. I know that you didn't choose to leave me. Fran Bo, huh? I wonder who came up with a lie like this one. A little candle, keep my parents warm. Huh. Probably not. Yeah. Oh, it. Ho! Oh. I don't know if that actually makes a difference, but it's pretty cool. This is a crowbar. If I got to rename it, I'd call it a crow's foot. Sure. Uh, you know something? Okay, he just went a different direction. I was curious if we could follow Dr. Dearn. Nice shadow of the cross in the bushes back there. No name, no flowers, maybe nobody is down there. Look at that. Pretty cool touch. Can't really interact with anything except the door. And, I, yeah, just the door. It's stuck. This must be the shovel storage room. Just my luck. Well. Wow. Shh. You have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio. I'm Fran. Hello, little pine cone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant! Oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I think I could see you because I have very big eyes, you see. Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way. The tribe's collector. The tribe's collector? That sounds exciting. Right now, we're trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather, hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deadly worms wanted it back. Dark. So we are looking for something more... synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Um, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? Well, it depends on the favor, giant miss. Well, I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. Well, I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. Alright, giant miss? But where will I ever find that? 
Huh, alright. I'll see what I can do. Uh, it's gotta be this book, right? I, I keep forgetting I can't use it. Uh, it wouldn't be the cat. I'm, I'm, I'm low on options. I guess I'll try the cat. I'll try the box for no reason. Leather. How indeed. <laughs> um, it won't do. The crowbar? Negative. Where? Leather. What? The bear? I don't... Oh, oh, wait a minute, the doctor's car. The seat. I'm flaking. Whoops, what a big hole I made. Well, I have the leather now. The shiny leather I found for Sebastian's mating ritual. The doctor's gonna be pissed. Here we go. Wow, thank you, Giant Miss. Our tribe, the Pine Zealous, will be happy. And now I'll open the door. Just a second. <laughs> you alright there, buddy? Ouch, are you alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? I'm, I'm alright, Miss, yes. Good, well, thank you. You opened the door. You're, w you're welcome, Giant Miss. Uh, Fabio? Okay. Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Hey, Fabio, wait for me! I have the leather! Sure. Huh, there's nothing in here I could use. This is not wonderful at all. I need to find something to dig with. Arr, I can't dig with the broom. Well, let's follow them. Oh, there you are, friend. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's dig. <laughs> well, alright. Guess I'll do that. Can I talk to you? No, we're we're just doing this. A shovel to dig into the depths of the ground. With grave. God, this is dark. Well, now we'll have to come up with something to open the coffins. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, friend, but. You can do the honors of opening the coffins. You, a ten-year-old girl, can do the honors of opening your parents' graves. Like, man, I would be on the other side of the area by now. Alright, sir, I'll open them. I can have the honor of opening my own grave. Wow, Dr. Dearn! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh my goodness, father. The deadly worms took your eyes. I wish you could talk and tell me who took you away from me. Was it the big bad monster, daddy? My god, this is dark. How are they already... Like, how long has it been? Why are they skeletal? Oh, mother, you're so skinny. A bit too much, I would say. And why are they whole, by the way? What happened to the evisceration? But I guess you would take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? Is the bed comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, Mommy. Okay. Moment of truth. Oh. So sure enough, we're not buried, are we? But Mr. Midnight is dead? What does that mean? Is this a weird twist where this whole game is Mr. Midnight's fantasy or something and, like, we're not playing at all? It's never been Fran? Woohoo! I'm not in the coffin! Great! But that can't be my kitty because Mr. Midnight is home. Poor kitty. I wonder if you had a name. Well, I'll name you Albert. So if that's not Mr. Midnight, then why is there, like, a conspiracy? And let me please get off this screenshot. Did you see someone moving over there? Was that still Fabio? Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this. Seeing my parents like this. 
Also, that dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. Well, it can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home, and I'll show you. Please? All right, Fran. I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. My god. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Oof. That's not good. Vanished into the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love. The one you respect. And the one you desire to love you. Oh yeah, he was gonna do that when the robot cat came in to stop him. Well, that's not happening this time. You broken little girl. The House of Madness invites you inside. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. <laughs> Chapter 5, The House of Madness. Excuse me? Okay. Aunt Grace, is that you? Oh, get ready. My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Well, am I? Really? That's incredible. I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. What? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat... Killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor. Even if that somehow were true, calling him a traitor makes no freaking sense, so I'm thinking that this is not real. Because, like, a traitor, that's what she says, and she's way too matter-of-fact about it. That's not true, it can't be true, he didn't do it. It doesn't matter if it's true or not, in the end, we must have a guilty one, right? Wow. So, is Aunt Grace the villain, or could Mr. Midnight be the villain? Because that traitor thing was established and foreshadowed a while ago. Chapter 3. But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend. But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? Whoa. I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they are untied. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little shining Fran, don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of the truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining Fran, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry, and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. <sighs> Holy crap. Woo. Oh no, don't leave me here. Aunt Grace, come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't have killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. I hope he is fine, but what should I do now? God damn. 
tick tock tick tock crazy sound it never stops <laughs> if you're chained to the bed here and just this probably wouldn't take you too long to go mad yourself now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room in another time. Or I'm just imagining things. But if it's true, how can I make contact with her? Well, Itward said that he's real because we imagined him, so perhaps we can imagine alternate Fran, right? In fact, when we saw the Fran with all the eyes, we said TikTok, didn't we? Dr. Dearn said that everything is in my head. Do OT okay? The nurses always chain me to the bed. Dark. I love this comic. <laughs> All right. My slippers. I use them when it's raining and I can't go outside. I don't think I'm going to knife my way out. I still can't do anything with this. Hee <laughs> hee. I painted this one. It's Kitty and me. And the winds took all the magical dust away. Whoa. Oh, hello. What are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Are there five friends? Are we gonna like team up with ourselves? Your bed, this is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you are chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? And hey, remember this thing? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa, you are... myself. You really are. What, you think so? Well, then this means I managed to enter the ultra-reality. Did you meet Itward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? Well, that means you're broken. Well, I'm not broken. Why should we... why would you say that? Well, think about it. The only way to cross into Ultra Reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitation. Well, that sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, and can you tell me then, why we see the things we do? What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first, then we can talk. Good idea. I also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Oh, who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty, you know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock you. It so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. So, about being right back. Okay. This is my super cute rap, but I like to make it cry. Dark. Also, I'm playing as her now. Freaking insane! Oh, sweet melody. Oh, same thing. Please, Fran, find a way to unlock me. I need to find Mr. Midnight. Nah, I'm on it. Don't panic. Hello, Dr. Oswald. I'm completely normal, don't you see? I'm just a funny, clever girl. That's all. Ooh. The shirt is angry with me. These are pants and can be used by creatures with two legs. The blue scarf from Wintertime. And Narnia. No? Alright. One blue blanket and one white. Crayons to draw happy faces on everything. I don't feel like drawing. So my clothing to make shows. Oh. Box of the Incredible Key Collection and as many keys. Do you do bad- did you do bad things? That's why you're grounded, little lady. You won't come out yet. No, no. Ah, the jacket. Aw, my yellow dress is pretty. Huh. Hey, it's Itward and Palantras. I drew this after my journey with Itward and Palantras. Wes, we both went here. I think Palantras is funny. It smells like bubblegum. And Itward likes to play all day long. Just checking. Let's see, which key? G 
Oh, second try. Aha! Unlocked. This is out there, man. Thank you so much, Fran. Hee <laughs> hee, you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget. Palantras told me that if we met someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think it will help you to open something. There we go. The little... Okay. Palantras, you know him too? Wow, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we met, you'd be ready for what's about to come up. What? Ready for what? Tell me. Oh, no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Who's she? The, the nurse? Yes. Come on, Fran. You must see the doctor now. Does she not see me? But I'm out. No, don't go, little Fran. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is a bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Oof. Yeah, she could be the villain. So much potential danger here. So could the nurse have me hallucinating about all this stuff? Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Imagine X. Huh. Haha! <laughs> Natalia Figueroa, Kill Monday. She's the one of the designers of this game, and Kill Monday is the the company that made the game. That's pretty good. Issue number twenty nine. And Kill Monday six or G. Oh, I love this comic. I like the part when the alien takes the girl to another planet. It's always nice to see new places like a Thursday. My slippers. I use them when it's raining and I can't go outside. To ride the choo-choo train is the best. The big doll my daddy and I built together. Just a regular scarf, doing what regular scarves do. I love the peach dress for sunny days, the coat for when it's windy and cold, the summer dress is a big button. That's it. Okay, just kind of cool, I guess. The shoes, they like to cover my feet. What are even those? Balloons in many colors. Hee <laughs> hee, party balloons. I'll take a look at the paper in a moment. Hello. Don't look at me like that. We had a deal. You stay here until I grow up. Because grown up people are not afraid of dolls, I think. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I will take my sleeping bag when I find Mr. Midnight. My school case. I may need it. My tiny sock for my tiny feet. Lots of candy in the jar. Ew, it has cat hair all over it. I won't like it. My summer hat. Doesn't fit anymore. My head's too big. I don't believe you can hear the ocean in the shell at all. Also, only I may talk. I have the conch. I use this mirror to see my beautiful face. Is that just straight up Alice from Alice in Wonderland? <laughs> Aw, this is Alice from school. Oh, come on. We like to play together. She's got the grinning cat. She tells me stories about a wonderful land she visits sometimes. We have so much fun making stuff up together. That's pretty great. Oh, boy. <laughs> what can I say? Oh, okay. get... Queen of Hearts. Cute. The door to the dollhouse? What? What's the point? I robbed this painting from one of my friend's dollhouse. What it? Oh! And the world, Lady Sardine upside down? What? How do I... What? I don't know. This is Tesla, and he likes to play with energy. Alright. This one is Albert, and he likes relative things. Oh, Einstein. A piano key clothespin? A little piano. I painted this myself a while ago. Oh, yeah, because it was a dollhouse, of course. Kill Monday Games. I don't like to drink soda because my tummy gets mad. My mother drew this flower for me. Looks like there's a key over there, doesn't it? I rescued the queen from my dad's playing cards. Yeah, great.
What does that say? That there's words. Something with destination, something with gathering. Is something back there? Oh, a key. I bet this can unlock something. This key was hidden in the dollhouse. Damn right. Anything else I can mess around with here? Hmm. Alright. I don't know if I'll have to arrange this stuff, but I guess that can come later. Mr. Midnight's bed. Aw, I can almost hear him, pur hear him purring. The Nutcracker stands on guard. Aw. I love this picture of Mr. Midnight. He looks so confused. Mommy and I ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that day. I think Mr. Midnight ate a bunch of insects. The doll likes to read a lot. I know because I taught her. Crayons, Lady Gnome, Teddy, Ballerina. Yes, all in its place. I like the sound of the music box. Time from the cuckoo clock. Okay, there's a chance this might not be real. Wow, things have changed a little bit. Ugh, a Kamala, nasty creatures. Excuse me, is somebody down there? Yes, I'm a somebody. Hello, have you seen a black cat? No, I have not seen a cat, but I do see a black thing eating from me. Eating from you? I think it's a Kamala. Are you alright? No, not really. I don't feel very well. I feel sad. Well, I may be able to help you. I got rid of a Kamala once all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. Well, I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. I am so not hitting him with water from here, especially because I don't have any. Freaking crazy. I don't remember having the door removed. Okay, let's actually take a look at stuff now. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears, first twice to the left and once to the right. I rub its only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. So left, left, right. Eye, eye. Left, eye. Left, left, right. Left, left, right. Eye, eye, left, eye. I see it now. Left, left, right. I, I, left, I. Oh my goodness, it opened. I'm a master. A cat key, huh? Ah, uh, whoops. A key shaped like a cat. So pretty. Mabuka, Mabuka. Wake up, Mother Mabuka. The horned child is planning with a light. The Velocus is angry and shining too bright. Mother Maluka, wake up, wake up, and give up the child before the darkness ends in the hands of the light. Mabuka must wake up. Let's build the ecog clock on the back of the giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright the light, she cried. Me, Mabuka, my, the mother of darkness will open my heart. Please take my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. That was okay. So I gotta make a lot of stuff. I need soap, glove, wire, bulb, wake up clock, bottle with water. Holy crap, this sounds complicated. I think I must wake up Mabuka. Why would Palantras give me this? It must be important. I think I must build it. Besides, it's designed by Cogwin, the clockmaker. Where am I gonna... anything? Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay, I need a glove, a bottle with water. Where do I where do I get anything? This is so much. And there are no gloves here. Wow. Where in the world am I going to find any of this stuff? Check the bed. I don't want to lay on this bed ever again. 
My lovely kitty, I love these pictures. I promise I'll find you, even if I have to do it all over again. I can't check the rug. Where am I gonna find anything? And I totally can't leave. There's a clock, right? I have a working clock. This cuckoo clock time tells time differently? What? I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. My school case, like, can I, all right. So I need a bulb? Well, there are a hundred bulbs. I don't know if those count as actual bulbs though. From the lamp, can I get the lamp? I don't think so. A bottle with water, a soap bar, a glove, and black wire. Where am I gonna get any of this? Is that a... That's just a cat. Black wire. A soap bar. What in the world? Just a scarf. Shoes. Oh, you know what? There's probably a lot of stuff going on with the dollhouse. There's the wake up clock, right? So maybe this is the deal. Maybe I have to combine all this stuff. A working bulb. I can't put it with a clock. I can put it on top of it. I don't know. This is just a weird thing going on. Black wire. And here are just matches. Yeah, I don't need matches right now. So disorienting. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The cat key. On the cat. Cat's tummy is a keyhole. What's happening? Rockin'. I'm kind of afraid of where this goes. Oh. What a big eye. What are you looking at? Are you looking at my beautiful face? Do I know you? You seem familiar. So I can enter any number of rooms. I can take yet another key, the diamond key. What is this, freaking Resident Evil 2? Well, I came from 101, I guess I'll just count. Door 103. Ew, it's all bloody. Hello, door number 104. Open, please. Ha! What? Intruder, infiltrator, why would you enter without presenting yourself? I am Okula, the eye from beyond. Behold my beauty. Oh, I'm sorry, what a big eye you are. You must see very well. I see everything, nothing less. Well, everything, can you see my cat? Your cat? How is it possible that you own a cat? Are you a royal, queen, princess? No, I don't own him, but we have a relationship. We're friends. Friends, how lovely. But yes, I did see a cat earlier today. It was crying for help from inside a cage. The bearer of the cage entered Mabuka's underground. He's still down there inside the cage. Well, can you describe the cat you see? 
Big yellow eyes, pink nose, its fur is very dark. Black as the deepest night. Well, it's him. It's my friend Mr. Midnight. I have to go and find him. But Mabuka is asleep. Waking her up can end in disgrace. I'm not afraid of her. Well, feel free to take anything you need from my home. You are brave, and I respect bravery very much. Well, thank you, Okula. I'm Fran, by the way. I'll see you around. Did not expect that. I can take... Oh, that was a light bulb? Beautiful. That's combining stuff, right? Okay, obviously I can take the hairbrush. But I'm checking other stuff first. The eyes are looking around. The eyes have it. This mirror is transparent. It's more like a window. That is bizarre. A hairbrush to brush hair, but doesn't have black wire on it, huh? No? Alright. <laughs> Let's pull the tassel. Can I actually go through that? Oh my god, this game- Whoa! What is happening? This game! Oh, it's actually a wire. I was thinking the hair would count as wire. <laughs> Insert button? Haha, -ha, hello, happy monkey. Is your name Darwin? Huh, nice to meet you, I'm Fran. You play the drums very well. Paper swirls, just like in a thirst, uh, hey little pinwheels. I think I disconnected the machine, it has no power now. Yeah, you know what? Oh, good, I'm not missing out. It seems it won't budge. Maybe I have to give a coin or something? Aw, oh, man, where's my golden coin when I need one? Alright, I'll take the wire just in case. The bottle is perfect. I'll take it. So all I need to do is get water from it, right? From... There's the soap. How the hell am I supposed to get over there? This game's getting weird, man. I hope you find your cat friend soon. I still see him inside that cage. And what is the deal with this? Oh, the light bulbs. Oh, in case you couldn't see them. Clever. In fact, I probably needed it off so I could take the light bulbs at all. Door one of five. It's locked, of course. Or it's not. Oh, it's it where's clothing and blinking skulls. Hello, Mr. Skull. You have a little flesh left on you. Oh, mysterious paintings in a mysterious place. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. Well, I I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get that key without his permission. Reinforced teeth? I see. I'll see what I can do to take the key, then. And who are you, if I may ask? Well, I'm Fran. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's den. Mabuka? Who is Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is? You don't? Leave. Now. Just leave. But Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, so I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of darkness. The darkest darkness, the obscurity, the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am I at the fifth reality? I thought Remor was the king here. Ah, Remor, the terrible black. The son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I've said too much. Alright, I'll be back later anyway. I must get your friend's key. Gugh. This is it where's clothing? But where is he then? Inside the little house. Well, I already got that. There's a little hint in case he didn't figure it out earlier. 911. I can actually use this? I'm curious. It. Word. <laughs> Ramor. Mub. Buka. Good old 911. <laughs> Alright, nothing. 
They would have forgot his hat. Or maybe the hat forgot his head. Oh, it's you. Hey, bro. Nice heart, by the way. I turn on the water. I fill up my bottle. Ha <laughs> ha! I wonder if I could tell that, uh, take out that Kamala outside, huh? It's a whale of a tail. Oh, we're painting of a whale. Very nice. Real whales are nice, too. Very amazing creatures. I'm not done, mother. I'll take another bath after this one because I stink. Well, who told you that you stink? The creeps that walk on my skin. They are getting sick. They vomit every time they eat from my skin because I stink. Well, I don't smell anything. What is the smell we're talking about? I stink like the most unpleasant stench. Well, I believe you, but I can't smell it. Sorry, I have to go now. Bye. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It can stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. Well, I don't like thinking about my heartbeat. I just want the soap. Soap? Are you having trouble with hygiene? Yes, terrible problems with hygiene. I smell like my flesh was all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Well, maybe for you. Just let me have the soap for a little while. All right, then take it. It's all yours. <laughs> Creepy. But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. They eat their baby bodies and keep the heads, their beautiful baby faces. Well, that sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. See you later. You took my soap? Why did you take my soap? Do you have hygiene problems? I am out of here. Holy crap, dude. Can I... There we go. Fifth reality is weird. Now, I know that I'm supposed to use the water for that clock thing, but first I want to see if I can do anything about the Kamala. I doubt I'm going to reach him from here, but... <laughs> yeah, nothing. Maybe I get to go out later? I don't know. No. Too bad for me. Well, this has been most interesting. Well, real? No way. Okay. <laughs> I saw her walking up. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Oh. Okay, that, that, that gave me a little bit of a scare. Well, for now, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We completed Chapter 4 and found that, sure enough, we are not buried and our cat isn't either. At least we're pretty sure our cat isn't. But then we entered the final chapter of the game. We are in the fifth reality. This is a strange one indeed. A really strange one. Everything's creepy. The mother of darkness might be around. Remor, the son of darkness, might be around. This is really uncomfortable. We've met alternate Fran. We're trapped in our house, but it may or may not be our house. The nurse may be the villain. Da Doubt is being cast upon Mr. Midnight himself. Aunt Grace is acting weird. But maybe this is all part of the nurse's great hallucinations. And also, I'm... Um, now, uh, thinking about that gun she had in her drawer in the beginning of the game, I hope that doesn't come into play. There's so much to think about. Until next time, everyone.